Okay, we're with Russ Stevens, product manager at Topo. We're going to go through some of Topo's new road shoes for 2023. Go ahead. Yeah, so we have our new Phantom 3 coming in 2023. This is going to be launching in May and retailing for $145. Phantom 3 is an update to our Phantom 2 and continues to be the product in the Topo Athletic line for the person looking for a high cushion, neutral road shoe. This has been a very popular option for the person seeking a shoe for their daily training, their long runs, recovery days, and also has a, a fan base with a fitness walking crowd as well. The Phantom continues to have a uh, five millimeter drop stack height with a 33 to 28 millimeter platform. It also uses a dual density midsole. So there's a softer section of foam that sits directly underneath the foot, delivering a really comfortable step and feel, and that's wrapped in a firmer section of foam. So what we're looking at, the yellow and the blue, is the outer foam that's that just That is paint. the outer foam. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. I can grab a component set if you no, want. No, that's okay. That. No, okay. no, but there you show it there. Yep. Uh, so there you can sort of see that window. Yep. That yep. is to the softer section of foam, and that yep. runs all the way up through the midsole platform gotcha. and is embedded in this firmer frame. Like some of the other shoes I've shown you today, this is also going to be using that new formulation of zip foam. So again, a little softer, lighter, and bouncier yep. than previous iterations of the foam. Moving on to the upper. Oh, the, is the zip foam in the center then? It's all zip foam. So all a, zip foam, yeah. two densities. Two, two ah, densities ah, very good, foams. very yeah. good. Yep. Yeah, great clarifying yep. question. Thank yep. you, Sam. Um, the upper of the shoe continues to use 30% recycled polyester, which equates to about three 16 ounce plastic water bottles recycled into every pair of Phantom 3. Um, and we've opened it up a little bit through the midfoot, uh, just changing our security system. The previous version used a microfiber strap um, on the inside mm -hmm. of the shoe. This version um, doesn't use that. We found a different way to secure the foot. So it's a bit more lightweight and breathable mm -hmm. along the upper. Very good. Price and availability. So I, this will be more coming time. out in May. Yeah. And will be retailing for $145. Thank you. Do you have something else to show us? Oh, I do us? I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen this one before. So this is our new. Uh, this is for Peter, too. This is our new Flylight. Uh, so there this we go. is a pretty big update to the yeah. Flylight line. Yeah. The Flylight 5 continues the heritage of the Flylight as our light, lightweight, moderately cushioned road running shoe. Mm -hmm. It's a really great option for the person that likes a little bit Look more ground that. feel yeah. and something that feels a bit snappier underfoot and also has a really big um, audience with the folks that are looking for one, sorry, one shoe to do a variety of activities in. So if you run one day, maybe you go out for a run and then the next day you're going to be going to the gym to do some light wave lifting and the next day you go to mm -hmm. um, like a high intensity yep. interval training class the Flylight can be a really great option for you. Um, it continues to have a three millimeter drop, 23 to 28 mil, I'm sorry, 23 to 20 mm -hmm. millimeter um, yeah. midsole platform, but has a fully redesigned midsole. You can see we've yeah, yeah. Uh, a, updated the aesthetic, but also tapered the midsole platform a little uh, bit more, okay. just yeah. to have, have a more nimble and a mm -hmm. fast feel underfoot. Uh, and also open a new outsole here. You can mm -hmm. see to improve traction, Mm -hmm. Here, uh, have a little bit more weight relief with these cutout sections with minimal losses and durability. Uh, yeah. As with some other shoes, this is also going to be using that new updated version of zip foam. Yeah. Um, and has a really nice dynamic upper. You can see that, that pattern uh, engineered in adds some more yeah. visual interest to the shoe while being very lightweight, breathable, and locking the foot in over the platform. You can see those internal inlays as well that aid in uh, securing the foot. Excellent. So price and availability. So this finish. will be coming out in yeah. June. Okay. Oh, sorry. My bad. No, that's uh, okay. Not be coming out in June. This will be coming out in August. Okay. And we'll be re retailing for $125. Okay. Something I do want to call out though is the, the weight of the shoe. We did get yeah. it quite a bit lighter than the uh, previous version. Okay. So uh, this new Flylight 5 is going to weigh about 7.5 ounces in a Ooh. men's size 9, Ooh. as opposed to the 8.3 in the previous version. Oh, that's a big drop. So we drop. have some, some good, sig significant weight, uh, weight drop here. Excellent. And is there anything else? One more, maybe? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, let me show you our uh -huh. new Cyclone, okay. which is technically a Spring Ooh. 23 product, but we're, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah. Um, so our new Cyclone 2 is a complete overhaul on the original Cyclone concept. Still made, made to deliver um, a great experience for the person looking for a moderately cushioned up-tempo training product. The Cyclone 2 now features a full P-Box midsole. Same stock height at a five millimeter drop, 28 to 23 mm -hmm. millimeter platform. But uh, like I said, a full P-Box midsole 
delivering an extremely uh, comfortable and a responsive ride underfoot. This product weighs just 6.9 ounces yeah. and a men's size 9. Wow. Um, so we're, we're really yeah. happy with the weight we got there. And then we have this Ooh, nice, that, nice new upper as well. And under um, underfoot, what does it look like? Under uh, underfoot. Oh, so it has a yeah, very yeah. thin oh, at, yeah. but, um, but durable outsole. So we have a very similar outsole to what we have on Spectre. A very good outsole. Very good. Yep. Durable. What, what I should call out is that in the heel here on production, this will all be a piece of rubber. We won't have this cutout okay. section here. Yeah, okay. Um, but just a small change versus sampling to, to production. Sure. And then... Um, uh, about when will it be available and the price? So we would expect this to be available, um, don't hold me to it, but late February. Yeah. And this will retail for $150. Oh, good price too. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that is really sweet. Look, look at that upper. Wow. Thanks, Russ. 